Hi there, my name's Dave and I really, really enjoy wine. I enjoy talking about wine, I enjoy drinking wine, and I enjoy tasting wine, which is what we're doing today. Now today, we're going to be looking at a Spanish wine called Mas Donis, which is from the Montsant or Montsant area of Spain. The Montsant area is located in Catalonia, which is where Barcelona is located. It is a relatively new geo, which was founded in 2002, and it almost completely surrounds Priorat, which is another very famous region of Spain. It's very similar to the taste of a Priorat. However, because it's not Priorat, it's actually good value. So this particular wine, and I'm really looking forward to trying this because it's supposed to be excellent, is $25. So uh, a comparable Priorat will be much more expensive than that. Montsant includes 17 villages, including Cap Canes, which is where this one is made. There are a variety of red and white grapes. The red grapes are Ganache uh, or Grenache. Carignana or Carignan, um, Oul de Liebre, which is a local grape, Syrah, Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. The white grapes in this area are Grenache Blanco, which is a white Grenache grape, Macabau or Vieiro, Chardonnay, Moscatel d'Alexandria, and Cerrolo. As I said, this particular wine is made in the Cap Canis village and is called Mas Donis. Now, Mas in Spanish means more, but I'm not sure if that's the meaning of this particular one because Donis is the name of the vineyard or the parcel of land where these grapes are grown. Actually, Mas Donis might be Catalonian, and when I put it into Google Translate, it says, but gave. So maybe it's an expression in Catalonian. It is a Rhone style of wine, and the blend has changed over the last few years. This particular one that I got is a 2016, but there are also 2017 and a 2018 available as well. The 2016 vintage is a blend of Garnacha and Syrah, 85% Garnacha and 50% Syrah. The 2017 has three grapes in it, Garnacha, Merlot, and Syrah. And the 2018 blend has two grapes in it, the vintage. However, this time it's Garnacha and Carignania, or Kergnan. On the bottle, it says old vines because they truly are old, up to 50 years old. The vineyards are a mixture of alluvial and stony soil. The stony soil is predominantly granite and limestone. The grapes are organically grown with the Grenache grapes grown on bush vines, whereas the Syrah grapes are trained on wires. Once the grapes are ripe, they are hand harvested and then aged in concrete mostly with a little bit of oak. After blending um, the two, two different grapes together, uh, it spends another six months in the bottle. So for $25, we're going to try this Montsant Spanish Rhone style wine. So I said appearance was a clear medium ruby with just a hint of garnet on the edge, I thought. Uh, nose clean, uh, medium intensity. So fruits, I got uh, raspberry, cranberry, blackberry, and plum, and some cooked fruits as well. Uh, pepper, um, cedar, charred wood, leather, and almost a bit of a, a bit of a meaty smell. Well, let's taste this. Mm. You know, we are pretty darn close again. 
Um, I said uh, dry, medium plus acidity. I said medium tannins. Uh, I said high alcohol. I'm just curious what the alcohol is on this. It's 14%, uh, so it's just on the high side. Um, I said medium plus intensity of flavor, medium plus finish, and a medium body. Um, raspberry, plum, a blackberry. I, there's a bit of a, I, don't, I hate to say it, like a medicinal or a resinous type of flavor, but I, I liked it. It was a, it was a, it was a enjoyable flavor, especially with the cheese. It was like phenomenal. Green pepper, black pepper, cedar, charred wood, uh, a bit of a meatiness again, and some tobacco as well. Um, I thought, okay, the um, the balance was okay. Um, you know, it's a little bit um, acidic, I thought at first, but it had good length, great intensity and complexity. I also rated it very good, and I said it's a really nice food-friendly wine because it's because it, for the crackers and cheese, man, it's delicious. If you are looking into booking a wine tour of the Okanagan next year and you are interested in a customizable, flexible and completely private wine tour in the comfort of your own vehicle, please check out the link below in the comments.